Hello and welcome to this short video. Today I want to explain you the basics of Universal Render Pipeline and how it is set up. The setup part in this video is for the purpose of creating a new project with the Universal Render Pipeline. If you are interested in converting an existing project to URP, then write it in the comments and I will create a separate video for this. So what is URP? URP stands for Universal Render Pipeline and it's basically just a template for Unity Scriptable Render Pipeline. URP is made for compatibility, so it should run on every device that Unity supports. Whereas the big brother HDRP, or High Definition Render Pipeline, if you max it out, is more aimed towards high-end graphics for high-end devices. So to create a project which uses the Universal Render Pipeline, open Unity Hub and click on New Project. Then you can see two URP templates, one for 2D and one for 3D. So I'm gonna use the one for 3D, and if the one that you want to choose is not downloaded yet, just click on Download Template. Then give your project a name and click on Create Project. After the project is created and loaded, you should find yourself in this sample scene. The first thing that you see is the global settings for URP. There's also a settings folder in which you should find three URP assets and three URP data assets. The render pipeline assets are configurations for your graphics and URP settings. You will find three predefined templates in this folder. One which is balanced, one for performance and one for high fidelity. To choose which configuration the game should use, go to Edit, Project Settings and under the Quality tab, you can see the render pipeline asset. Make sure that it is not none and that there is always an asset selected and here you can select which configuration it should use. Go to the Graphics tab as well and select the same render pipeline asset here. Under the Graphics tab, there is a tab called URP Global Settings. In here, you can put the Global Settings configuration file that you have seen in the beginning. URP comes with a post-processing stack by default which is called Volume. It's a component that you can add to your game objects. If you check the Global Volume game object in the sample scene, you can see that it has the component Volume added to it. If you want to add the post-processing stack to your scene, just create a game object and add the component volume to your game object. To add more post-processing effects to your volume, click on Add Override and here you can find more effects. Welcome to the end of this video. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Also, if you need some high quality assets for your game or like our channel and want to support us, feel free to check out our assets at the Unity or Unreal Asset Store. You'll find the link to our store pages in the description. I hope you learned something new and see you next time.